Hey, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, where we try to keep you up to speed on the ever-changing Arizona real estate market. And we got breaking news today that Open Door has been fined a whopping $62 million by the Federal Trade Commission for deceptive practices. Ouch! What do they mean by deceptive practices? Check this out. Federal Trade Commission today took action against online home buying firm Open Door Labs Incorporated for cheating potential home sellers by tricking them into thinking they could make more money selling their home to Open Door than on the open market using the traditional sales process. They allege that Open Door pitched potential sellers using misleading and deceptive information, and in reality, most people who sold to Open Door made thousands of dollars less than they would have made selling their homes using their traditional process. Under a proposed administrative order, Open Door will have to pay $62 million to stop their deceptive practices. What are the deceptive practices? And it, we're not beating our chest and saying we told you so. Maybe. <laughs> well, you would get on Open Door and they would give you this little thing here and they'd show you um, what their fees were, and they were saying averaging 6.8%. It's a service fee, not a commission. So they'd say, we don't charge a realtor commission to buy your house. No, well, they charge you a service fee. I don't know how they got away with that. They were saying that the average traditional sale charges between 7 and 10%. So what they were showing you was that they were assuming a 6% realtor commission, and closing costs. They were going to save you <coughs> all of those closing costs. And they were saying that on average, it took the traditional seller 50 days to sell your home. And you had an average prep to stage the home of 10 days, an average number of showings, 10 showings. That's what they said were average. Now, when the market was really, really hot, of course, none of that was true. It wasn't taking 50 days to do anything. So they were telling you that they had a service charge of 6.8 percent, estimated cash before closing 186. On the traditional side, they were saying there was 6 percent here. There were estimated seller concessions of 2 percent. Going to talk about that in a minute, and that there were estimated home ownership overlap of 1 percent and you'll get 182,000 versus the 186 400 that you get with them. So what is the service fee or the estimated seller concessions? They're assuming and they were assuming and even in a hot market that you would have to concede to some concessions to the buyers when we all know you didn't. But what they weren't telling people was they would come in and they would do an inspection on the house and they would hit you greatly with repairs. And it says the complaint alleges that Open Door engaged in practices that both increased the cost to consumers and reduced offers to below market value. Open Door's approach to home repairs is one example. Company told prospective customers that an in-person assessment of the property, it may require them to make or pay for certain repairs. Now we understand that. Everybody has an inspection period. However, Open Door said also said that it asks for repairs we anticipate the next buyer of the home will ask for. Huh. Fixes that customers would have to address before a traditional sale too. Open Door further claimed that custom consumers may even save money on repairs if they sell to Open Door because we do our best to pass wholesale savings on to you from our partnerships with local vendors. If they were doing that, I never saw it. But according to the FTC, open doors required repairs often cost $1,000 more than what people would have to pay before a traditional sale. You never saw that invoice. They would just tell you, we want $10,000 credit at close of escrow. You never got a line by line bill. They give you an estimate that said, well, we got to uh, fix this on the electrical panel. That's $3,000. We got to make this repair uh, on your in your water system and this on your roof and they give that to you you never got the invoice that oh and by the way here's how much that costs because you you just sold them the house then they go get their repair people come in and they did it for five thousand not ten thousand we often felt 
that when we look at the model and their margins, that their profits were made not from the price that they purchased and the price that they sold, but in the fees and the overcharging or repairs. And our little intuition has told us that a lot of people felt the same way, and therefore they got in trouble. Open Doors marketing materials included charts comparing their consumers' net proceeds to selling to Open Door versus the market. Just showed it to you. Almost always showed the consumers would make thousand dollars more with selling to Open Door. In fact, the complaint states the vast majority of consumers who sold to Open Door actually lost thousands of dollars compared with selling in traditional market because the company's offers have been below market value on average and it costs and its costs have been higher than what the consumer typically pay a traditional realtor. So the promise was there, the delivery was not. Now, we don't like to kick people when they're down and we don't like to brag about it, but I'm glad that the FTC is looking out for consumers because this has long been deceptive. They lowered their service fee a little bit to like 3% for a point here while things are getting aggressive. Then they raised it to 15%. You didn't mind that because you liked the convenience. You didn't have any showings. You just accepted the offer and you got cash and you got to pick your closing date. But as we see, they made money from disclosed, Open Door made money from disclosed fees when in reality they made money from buying low and selling high. They actually didn't make that much money from buying low and selling high. They made money off of the disclosure fees. Their margins were not great. And that's why they weren't making a lot of money from quarter to quarter. Um, it also says here that consumers likely would have paid the same amount in repair costs whether they sold through open door or tr in traditional sales. And consumers would likely have paid less in costs by selling to open door than they would pay in traditional sales. That's the part that wasn't true. So they weren't really saving you any money on repairs. So this is going to be interesting to watch, see how this shakes out, see if it affects other industries. I know when Zillow was into buying, um, I experienced some of that with them on one house. They wanted $10,000 to paint the inside and the outside, even though they had just been painted. In fact, when the inspector came out, he goes, this looks like fresh paint inside now. It looks nice. I go, yeah, he just had the whole thing painted. Oh, it looks great. Looked in a report. There was no mention of paint anywhere in the report. Yet they wanted $10,000. And I called them and I said, this is nothing short of a $10,000 shakedown to my client. Um, you're going to have to either strike that line out of the uh, counter offer or we're going to walk away. We walked away. So yay for the FTC for looking out for consumers. Let's hope none of these shenanigans continue. Thanks for watching. Take care.